Hi, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Paul Lisnick. We're coming to you from the state capitol in beautiful Springfield. And when we're down here, we get sometimes some surprise guests who come by uh, who happen to be um, doing their work here in the capitol. So joining me now, the assessor for Cook County, Joseph Berrios, is uh, in the building. And Mr. Assessor, good to see you. Nice seeing you, Paul. And one of the reasons you're here, you come down when you have legislation relevant to your work. You personally come down and address it. And so one of the things that really I think upset a lot of people was the fact that the 7% cap on tax increases, it sunsetted. And a lot of people said, uh-oh, taxes are going up. But you've stepped in to pretty much save the day. Yes, what we've done is we've, we've put together a bill and we've got it passed this week and the governor should sign it next Tuesday. Uh, the bill, what it will do is because the 7% cap it actually was not working anymore with, with the decreasing values in property, there was nothing to protect. I mean, the markets were coming down. so. Uh, the 7% really wasn't working. So what we've done, since the 7% is being phased out, uh, for the city of Chicago for this year, the 7% being phased out would have given every homeowner just a $6,000 homeowner's exemption. The bill that we passed last year increased that to 7000 So it would have gone from 8000 to six, and Instead, it's only going to go from eight to seven. Is that a permanent shift, or is uh, it the one year? No, no, this, is, this will be permanent. It, it, it's a three-year phasing because when the 7% was put in, that was put in in phases. So the North Triennial in Cook County and the South Triennial will still be affected by the 7% for one year and two years, but this will be a permanent fix. Uh, the other thing we did with the bill, because the senior citizen uh, exemption had not been increased in four, we took that and increased it by 1,000 so that every senior will get another $1,000 exemption. So the governor will sign this and it will help protect homeowners you know, not completely 100%, but at least they won't be looking at a $180, $200 increase in property tax because of the phase out. Instead, they will only be looking at half of that. So it's good news for homeowners, but what about municipalities who say, wait a minute now, that may cost us money. We still need the money. No, because in actuality, we haven't touched the base. What we did was we, we protected homeowners and made sure that the exemptions that they had before still exist. Because under with the 7% being phased out, they would have lost all that protection and you know they would have gone way up and other people would have gone way down so you know when you when you look at the tax system you have to make sure it's fair both with homeowners and commercial so this bill I truly believe makes it fair for everyone. All right, speaking of fairness and speaking of exemptions, something else you've been down here working on is the fact that there are some people who own more than one property and they seem to be taking homeowner exemptions. Up. Yes, we, we've been down here working for a couple of sessions on a bill which would allow the assessor's office to go after what we call uh, property exemption cheats. And these are people who take more than one exemption than they're entitled. Every person is entitled to one homeowner's exemption, not two, not three. And you know, as you've seen in some reports, there are people that take 12, 13, 14 of them. They own a building, they take an exemption. Yeah, they take an exemption. But it, the end result of that happening is that everyone that being honest with the tax system is paying $75 more per year on their property tax bill. That is totally unfair. And we need the power and the direction to be able to go after these people so that they stop cheating. Because right currently, under current law, we can slap them on the hand, but we can't go after them. So we want to. Go. We're going to put some teeth in. Just a few seconds. I was kidding you before we came on about the fact that I hate the fact that tax bills are on time now because I have to give up the money sooner. But you said it's saving me money. It's, in the long run, it will save every taxpayer in Cook County money because of the fact that taxing bodies will no longer have to go out and borrow money. And when they borrow money, they got to pay interest on that money, which in turn has to be passed on to taxpayers. So, this having the tax bills go out on time. This will be the second time around, so this is a great right. deal for all Short taxpayers. Short-term paying, long-term gain. Yeah. Joseph Berrios, Cook County Assessor. I'm Paul Lisnick. This is Newsmakers. Bye-bye.